using microcontroller as desktop. I mean, it's not a bad experiment. I have a kind of. So, <laughs> this is a uh, Raspberry Pi uh, 02W. So, it's a uh, microcontroller. And uh, like uh, one uh, uh, port is uh, kind of. It is used as uh, for keyboard and mouse wireless. And another one, it is it goes to kind of uh, power cable and I mean USB power cable. And there is a, I believe it should be visible. And there is a one uh, port here. So that is for uh, HDMI. So we can use a kind of uh, a Raspberry Pi uh, 02W. So it's really 02W. I can open it. So uh, it is Raspberry Pi 02W. So it's a microcontroller. And it is quad core. So since it is a quad core, it is kind of tempting to use as a desktop. And uh, the limitation what it shows is uh, it is a kind of uh, 512 MB uh, RAM, so that is quite small. So it is different to I have a Raspberry Pi Zero. Okay, so so this is the kind of uh, old microcontroller. So. Okay, so this is a, a microcontroller. It also has a 512 MB RAM, and this is different in a way that. Uh, okay, so this is a Raspberry Pi Zero W wireless, and this is Raspberry Pi Zero Two W. Okay, so the difference is that uh, a Raspberry Pi uh, Zero is a kind of. Uh, a single processor probably around 1 gigahertz and this is a 1 gigahertz but uh, it is quad core so uh, but limitation is same so both are 512 MB RAM okay so so that is the kind of uh, uh, thing that stops us to use it as a, a desktop so can we use it as desktop so that is a, uh, I mean, full fledged desktop. So it's not kind of a, a trivial uh, desktop, it's a full fledged desktop. So uh, we can use it. So, idea is that, but how? Means, like if I am running kind of a QT uh, creator or QT designer, so those kind of application, it will be kind of a very slow. Or if I am running OpenGL heavy application or web browser or uh, kind of a screen uh, recorder. So those kind of thing, uh, it is looking like a bit heavy for uh, 512. Uh, I mean quad core uh, processor is not the uh, kind of a showstopper. So it is okay. But the uh, showstopper becoming is uh, 512 MB of RAM. So how we can increase the RAM uh, from 512 MB so that we shall be able to use it as desktop. So that is the question. Now for the 512 MB RAM, so to I I I think there is no provision here uh, that we can. So this is us verify. Uh, better to show like it's uh, open. So uh, there is no provision that uh, in any us verify we can go and. So this is black one is the processor. So black one is the processor. Okay, and. There would be somewhere, I believe, uh, the uh, memory. So the RAM. So RAM is 512. Uh, okay. So. Okay. So it is not mentioned. So RAM is a kind of a, a 512. Uh, MB. So, how we can increase if I can't increase through hardware, then how it's possible to increase the RAM? Okay, so there is something called a kind of a swipe space. So, if we see the operating system functionality, then uh, 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 whatever the so, like if we run our OS, then OS is nothing but mainly it's a kernel code. So, kernel code would reside uh, on the 
ram permanently so that is required and then uh, uh, means typically it is not preimed and user code user code generally they are preimed so they will come to ram or they will come to hard disk so in the hard disk uh, uh, we have a two region one is a uh, uh, region that is our our uh, sd card so so i believe sd card is visible so this is sd card so uh, so this is the place where kind of process the process the program that is running that code is there so it would kind of do uh, kind of swapping so from the uh, memory to uh, the ram it would do kind of a to and fro so that is the concept but still it keeps a swipe area where uh, exact mapping so we can call it as a ram cache so exact mapping from the ram to cache we can do means uh, to the swipe area we can do so uh, swiping to and fro in a kind of a chunk of big memory is possible so it is a kind of a structured data we can make to and fro rather than byte wise what we receive from the main memory so then it would be faster so uh, uh, raspberry pi bullseye is the os that uh, we will use so it provides a kind of uh, swipe space on the it creates swipe space on the hard disk and that is 100 mb so 512 mb is the ram so we can grow it by kind of uh, 2 gb so 2 gb swipe space uh, i would ram cache we can say of swipe space and 512 mb as ram so I think it should increase the speed. Means it's a crucial. Uh, I mean, anyone would find uh, increasing the swipe area on the uh, internet. So it's uh, many articles are available where uh, we can increase the swipe area. But it is a kind of uh, hit. Means it is crossing a portal. Means uh, if you increase the swipe area from the 100 MB that is the default to kind of 500 MB or 1 GB or 2 GB that is the maximum it enhances the speed drastically okay so drastically so if we are able to enhance the speed drastically then we can really use the great Raspberry Pi 2W as desktop and if we are able to do then it is really a crossing a milestone means this much little computer uh, I mean microcontroller which can be used for device that anyway uh, we are in procedure to bring the uh, kind of the presentation of the device driver and then uh, means uh, so nice we can manipulate GPU and then means for the HMI kind of uh, communication and communication with the external world through the interfaces and through the PCA we can use it as desktop and working desktop so that way.